All right, children, today we will learn about the sum, product, difference, and quotient. These are the answers when you add. One plus one is two. This is the sum. Two minus one is one. This is the... Yes? Excuse me, teacher, but I gotta say, that can be taught another way. Remember when you only knew one plus one, the answer for addition is called the sum. That's a fact. It's exact. The difference is the answer when you subtract. Don't try to hide. It can't be denied. Quotient is the answer when you divide. Product is the answer when you multiply. You can't deny. Now you're a smart guy. Yeah. Even plus and even, you can always be believing. We'll make another even. Hey, now we're steaming. Even plus an odd can never be an even. Looky right here if you not be believing. When you think it out of a hundred, we're talking percent. And here's a sign that will represent. With polygons, as a matter of fact, two shapes are congruent if they match up exact. Boom. Polygons are similar when the shape is the same. Sides can be different. Now we're expanding your brain. Pythagoras is what you want to use when it's time to find the hypotenuse. A squared plus B squared, but beware, you'll need a square root if you want to get there. All triangles have been given a name. You know it's equilateral when each side is the same. One angle is fat. A cute triangle is nothing like that, no. When two sides are equal, it's called isosceles. When all sides are different, it's called scalenic. Base sum divided by two gives the area of a trapezoid. That's all you do. Now we're talking circles. Compare the distance across to the distance around. The ratio of pi is what you found. 3.141592653584 the area of a circle is pi squared. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare not care. If you want to find the distance around, the circumference of a circle can be easily found. Just multiply the diameter by 3 or by pi. If you mess up, just retry. Your muscles are concave until you flex, and if you're like me, they become convex. Concave, convex. Concave, convex. Concave, convex. Add all the numbers to find the mean. Divide by how many? We're a math machine. Mean is the middle, the set of post. Mode is the number you find the most. Sometimes you want to know how big is the change. Subtract the smaller from the larger, and you've got the range. Oh, oh, on the range. The area of the square is length times width. Just figure it out. It's not a myth. The area of the triangle is the same thing, cut in half. Look at all the cool things we've learned about math. The apothems from the center and to the side, it makes a right angle and that's bona fide. X comes before Y when you're plotting a dot. That's over, then up, then then you plot. Top of the fraction called the numerator. It doesn't matter if it's small or great. The bottom number is the denominator. This will help you if that you have a test later. Make a decimal out of a fraction. The calculator's easy book is less satisfaction. Divide the top by the bottom and add a decimal point. Add a couple zeros, you won't be disappointed. Boom! Knowing the 
order of operations increases your expectations. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and let's get on to that grand finale. Doing a little math is good for your head, so do it in the car and when you lie in your bed. Multiply and think about the operations rule. Do it in the kitchen and in the swimming pool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. See how much we have learned today? We'll never look at math in the same old way.